You know, you were sorry to lose one of our premier members, John Shu, this year, and we would like to give a bit of a history that Dr. Marcelet will do at this point in time. This obituary uh, eulogy was written by Dr. Mervyn Letts, uh, a very close friend of Dr. Shu. Uh, it is an honor to have been asked to write a tribute to John Shu, which I was prepared to give in person had ill health not overtaken me. John and I first crossed paths at the Pediatric Orthopedic Study Group meeting in Rochester, Minnesota in 1978. I had known of John's innovative work in children's rehabilitation from his own interest in children's seating, and we had corresponded. We were surprised to learn at our face-to-face -face time that we had both attended Brandon College on the Canadian prairies in Manitoba. John, a couple of years prior to me, before his family moved from Brandon to Montreal. Over the next 40 years, I came to know the superb talents of the rehabilitation surgeon, John Shu, as well as the tremendous love and support he received from his lovely wife, Francine. John was recognized early on as possessing the skills and mindset to move the treatment of disabled children forward, which he did subsequent to his appointment to Rancho mm -hmm. Las Vegas Hospital at the University of Southern California, to which he was appointed from his residency in orthopedic surgery at Johns Hopkins University in 1971. John devoted his whole career to the care of the disabled child at one of the major rehabilitation centers in the world. He made many contributions to the orthopedic management of children with musculoskeletal disabilities and was recently honored by McGill University, where he graduated in medicine in 1961 with the John Chu Annual Lecture in Orthopedic Surgery. When I was head of surgery at Winnipeg Children's Hospital, we invited John to come as visiting professor to share his experience with the orthotic management of the spine in children with cerebral palsy and muscular dystrophy, an area in which John was a world expert. I subsequently visited John at Downey to learn his technique of posterior tibial and anterior tibial trend and transfers for rebalancing the foot in neuromuscular disorders. John was truly a talented innovator in the field of children's rehabilitation and could improve a child's functioning with surgery, orthotic, seating, or physiotherapy with the talented team of professionals he built up around him during his tenure at Rancho Las Vegas Hospital. John also received tremendous support from his wife, Francine. She was not only a gracious host, but a loving wife that dealt with not only John's many successes, but also with his health issues as well. They were both so proud of their children. I was privileged to have known John and learned from him in the field of orthopedic surgery, but John was also one of the nicest guys to be with socially or traveling. He was a giant among our pediatric orthopedic community and his name will live on in perpetuity. To Francine, per adura adastra, through adversity to the stars. Mervyn Letts. <laughs>